Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code and welcome to another episode of our Django tutorial series. In the previous video we added our HTML template and served it as our HTTP response. And in this video we're going to be adding our CSS and JavaScript to that HTML file. So, I already have all the code written down and I'll go through it line by line and tell you exactly what to do and what it's doing. So head into your index.html file. First, what we're going to do is add this line load static. Now what this does is it allows you to use static files because all of your CSS, JavaScript, or even image files are called static files in JavaScript. So we're going to, or in Django. So we're going to load our static files and then inside of the app directory, create a new folder called static. Inside of this folder, add your main.css and main.js files. So now that you have those files added, you can link to them. So first we're going to link to our style sheet, our CSS. So link rel equals style sheet. And then the link to that style sheet is this static main.css. Next, we're using the jQuery CDN um, because I'm going to be using jQuery within our JavaScript file. So basically what a CDN is, is it allows you to use an application or use a framework without having to actually download it on your device. So you can get the CDN from the jQuery website. I can show it to you right now. I'll paste the link in the description down below, but I just use the slim link here for jQuery 3.x. And once you have that in, you can link to your main.js. So in the same way that I link to my main.css, I'm linking to my main.js, but this time with a script tag. And it's all you really need to add in your HTML file. Next, inside of your main.css, all I'm doing here is I'm changing the background color to light blue and the font family to Verdana. And then inside of our main.js, what I'm doing is I'm using a bit of jQuery. So we're doing a dollar sign, then document.ready. And what document.ready does is it's saying once the document has fully been loaded, then execute this function. And the function that it's executing is a log to the console. So it's saying console.log, hello, I am a static file. And so now we can actually test it. So hop back into your command prompt and rerun your server. So python manage.py, run server, specify the port if you want. Otherwise, leave it blank. And once your server is running, hop back into your file, reload, and the necessary changes should have been made. So as you can see here, my background is light blue, my font family is Verdana. And if I inspect and go to the console, it says, hello, I'm a static file. So now we know both our main.js and our main.css file are linked to our index.html template. And if within this console you're getting an error about the file types of the JSS or of the JavaScript file, you can hop into settings and add these lines. So import mime types and then add this line mime types dot add type application JavaScript dot JS and then true. And that'll fix that error in your your output should be just like mine. All right. So that's how you add a JavaScript and a CSS file to your Django project. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. This has been Steam Code, and I'll see you in the next one.